Black Desert Online is an MMO that has been out for 9 years. Throughout this time, the game's direction has changed drastically. Today, I will look at where it all began and investigate BDL's alpha and beta content, as well as the initial direction of the game. The old versus new design philosophy. When investigating the beta and alphas of the game, BDO has had changes over time that make the game unrecognizable versus back then. I feel before we start looking at the beta, we should take a look at the development cycle up to alpha and beta before the game's release. The Pearl Abyss CEO and head of the project at the time, Dae Il Kim, took interviews about the various features and overall game direction. The internal status of the development cycle. Pre-alpha release, the game's development was only 1 year and 8 months long. Back then, Pearl Abyss only had 50 developers working on BDO as it was actually a passion project and the company was a lot smaller back then. They were also not publicly traded at the time. BDO was actually created on a custom engine. While this may be impressive to do in a short amount of time, the creation of BDO's baseline engine in 2012 may be the cause of the jank that we suffer from today such as texture popping and desync. Siege initially was one of the game's flagship features, with the idea 400 versus 400 battles. I find this interesting because this may relate to War of the Roses that we have today, and maybe some lone developer's dream actually came true. Another question that was mentioned was a seamless map as one of the main features. However, they've actually mentioned they get difficulties regarding packets. This also may still be a problem we suffer from today. Trading was seen as a major component of Black Desert at the time. All items accessible in the game were supposed to take part in trading. Black Desert Online was a real sandbox back then, with the goal to do anything you want. Now looking at another interview, the producer Kim Dae-il mentioned that he wanted to give meaning to everything in the game. Every single thing, meaning Trees, stones on the ground, farms, puddles, all exist in the game for a reason. A road does not exist just to be a road, he wanted it to be a trade. Moving on to the actual game. I was able to find some scarce footage of Black Desert beta tests and alphas.
Regarding life skills and professions, one thing I found interesting was in one of the articles they mentioned I couldn't pay for the potion so I had to recover my stamina by fishing. If this is true, it means in early betas, players had to recover stamina using various caught items by foraging in the wild for berries or fishing for fish to eat. There was actually a planned outdoor player housing system or a camping system where players could place tents and campfires. Moving on to PvE grinding content, or combat focused content. In grinding, the most valuable items you could get at the time were coins that you would sell to a trade manager. However, on death, either PvP or PvE, players would drop their inventory contents. There may have been an invasion system where bosses would attack cities or castles. There were actually only four classes initially in these beta tests. Classes were Warrior, Sorceress, Ranger, and Berserker, but Zerker was also called Giant. The class selection screen was also much different. 
Ranger was often called female Ranger, and there are videos of Archer or male Ranger in early trailers. Moving on to PvP focused content. Open world PvP was similar to how it is today where players could flag up at the cost of karma. However, players would drop any items they had on themselves, so it must be more lucrative than it is now. Siege. The premise of Siege was different. At the back of the castles, there was a statue. Attackers would aim to attack. Once the statue was killed by an attacking guild, the defending guild would lose control of the castle and the statue would respawn. Then the defending guild would have to kill the statue and they would regain control of the castle. Whichever guild had control of the castle by the time siege was over would win siege. Siege took place at Heido Castle in earlier beta test with the gates being destroyed looking different to today's siege gates. Calfion Castle was also another siege area, however it seemed to be unfinished and was just a deathmatch type attack in the footage I found. Early trailers also had players commanding squads of soldiers, however I could not find gameplay of this so it was most likely scrapped entirely. Arena PvP Now people have been asking for arenas for years, and we finally got them recently. However, arenas did actually exist in the Alpha and were presented at a conference by Pearl Abyss. The arena was a 4v4 format set in the Altanova Arena. However, I found this weird since the Altanova Arena did not exist at this point, so it was probably a custom created arena for this game mode. During the fights, hazards would spawn to mess with players during fighting. Mobs like lions would spawn to attack players, and the walls had spikes on them that would knock down players if they got too close to them. V was not a thing yet and did not exist.
faction PvP. In one of the betas, a faction system was introduced where players would pick a side and join a faction. The factions would be immediately hostile to each other and PvP would commence. However, this faction idea was completely scrapped. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If I miss something or you guys want me to make a part two, I will. Just leave a comment. So that's it. Thanks again.